opposed to when Sark was there? No, I think the offense is very similar. I, I think they are. I think they do run it probably a little more in response to situations where they're a little, a little more consistent at running. But they, they still do a lot of the, a lot of the same things: the play action passes, the, the match protect and throw the deep balls. A lot of that's very similar. Terrific quarterback. He does a nice job of buying time, extending plays, and then he does a great job of finding the second and third receiver. If he gets in trouble, he knows where to go. How much has Aaron been doing the last few weeks? I think Aaron has done a nice job. I think uh, overall he's better. I think there's still a couple things he can work on that really improved. But and overall, we're, we're happy with the improvement of Aaron and a lot of his fans in the back end. Linebacker group, another one that made you stride, talked about from your perspective on the linebacker group. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the nice thing about the linebackers right now is I think they're playing a little more, a little more free, a little more loose. You know, early on, I think we put a lot on them, and those guys were thinking a lot, but not only inside but the outside. I think all those guys are trying to do too much, and at times maybe pressing and trying to make plays with it. But right now. When a good place where they're playing and just trying to make the plays they're supposed to make and just letting things come in. And I think that's why we see some improvements down the stretch. Kessler has two pretty good receivers coach to throw to with Jackson and, and Juju. What do each of those guys sort of contribute and what makes them unique in their own way? I think when you look at uh, USC, I think they're deep across the board. I know it's Juju, I know it's Jackson. But I think all those receivers are really good. I think the tight ends are good to see as well. And the backs are really good to see that back. And so, to me, when I look at that team, you have to defend everyone because they're all really good athletes. And the other thing that they, they bring to the table is when they catch the ball, they, they can go distance. And these guys can finish. So I think that's a challenge for us. It's a good, good job of spacing and a great job of tackling the ball. Well, versus Stanford, we did a nice job setting the edge of uh, containing the run, forcing the run. And this offense, this thing, USC's offense, is similar in some, some, uh, some respect. And so we'll definitely need to set edges and contain the ball. And I think from an explosive standpoint, their guys are as explosive or maybe more explosive than the guys that are. You know, everything's big there around right here. And, you know, the thing that we're hoping is, and the thing that's happening right now, is that Christian is getting as much treatment. He is wearing out the train and doing everything he's doing to get back. And we'd love to get him back, and we'd love to get as many you know, Minnesotans back as possible. Down the stretch, everyone's beat up. If you can get a guy back like Frank, who's playing pretty well, it makes a difference. Charles Nelson, kind of undersized, some might say, for a safety. How does he make up for that? He's extremely fast, extremely intelligent, and extremely tough. When you watch some of the plays he makes, there's, there's a screen that they stamp and there's three guys right in the area. He just blows by him and tackles the fullback. He's probably down to 240, 250. You, know, you have to be fast, you have to be intelligent, you have to be tough, and that's what Charles does. To a Craven's linebacker yesterday said that he took a little personal that Oregon didn't offer him a scholarship. The only back ball school not offer him. Uh, was there something about should he be taking that personally or not? You know, I, I have no comment. I, I think he ended up in an awesome place. You know, they, they're, they're good and they have a great program down there. And so, I mean, I don't know what do you take that as a good thing, though, that a guy that really, really wants an offer from a school like Oregon? Is that, that's kind of what the program is at right now, where people are really wanting to come? Well, the recruiting world has changed so much. I mean, if you offer a kid that you come, you're not coming, where, where does that play into the big picture? So, I don't know. You know, there's, we, we get, I can't talk about it. You talked about the looseness of the Oregon linebackers. Do you think that's coming from an increased the Oregon linebackers? You, you know, I think there's some increased confidence. And I also think just, you know, at this point of the season, guys know that you know, you've seen the, you've seen all the, the offensive plays. You've seen, you've seen about everything. You have 
of coming with. When I see this formation, when I see these motions, these are the things that's coming. I'm just going to trust it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to try to trust it and go make better. I think that's a lot of it. Just kind of to Our scouts have been fabulous, and, and this week is probably more important than any other week because it's game nine. And uh, they've been great. You know, the thing they have to do now is they have, our scout team needs to do a great job of run blocking and a great job of pass blocking. And receivers have to finish because that's what the USC receivers do. But what, our guys have been really good this year. Our scouts have been fabulous. What makes a good scout player? What do you guys look for in those guys that help you guys prepare for the opponent? You know, once you're deemed as a scout or a red shirt or a non-travel uh, player, you go down and you're, you're kind of like a scout squad. And a lot of times it can be easy to not try hard because you're not traveling, you're not planning games. And so what makes a, a good scout player is that I'm, I'm going to take every day. My game is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's my game. On well, Saturday, Sunday, I don't get to play, but I get to play during the weekend. And then you expect those guys to come out and play with that fire like it's a game. And it's easy not to do that. You know, it's easy to go, you know, we're not playing the game and kind of feel sorry for yourself. Our kids this year have been wonderful. I mean, they, they've been challenging the, the, the travel squad. There's times where the travel squad may not be going as hard as they should, and the scouts are freaking getting after them. And then that raises the level of the, of the travel squad. And so that's, that's what we need, and that's what our scouts have been doing for us. On you last week, got some nice uh, playing time. How much of that was because of the opponent where you needed a, a lot more guys in the long line, or how much of that is him deserving uh, a bigger shot? Uh, Rex is a playing time is a combination of both. Last week, we were rotating you know, hello, hello. the bigger linemen. Another thing is he's been performing well, and so uh, it's, it's a good thing for us to we have, some, we have some added depth with him. But he's earned it, and then last week, we definitely needed it. Do you think when you recruited, you might have been an instant impact kind of guy, or you'd be playing this early? We were hopeful. Yeah. We were hopeful. Um, one is size, but Rex is extremely intelligent. And so you know, he, he picks up things, really, things, concepts really well. So we were hopeful that he might be able to help us. Ron said the USC offensive line is bigger and maybe more physical than Stanford's. Do you feel like the, the use of the four, sometimes five down linemen, might be in play this week as well, or was that more of just – because of Stanford's use of sometimes seven offensive linemen. You know, when we have those those big packages, and if, um, if, if the game goes that direction, we're prepared to use them. Right. You know, it's just it just depends on what what we're facing. Thank you. Thanks, coach. Thanks.